just two days ago, we had taken a look at a tool called Skyburn, which lets you automate web-based tasks with the help of AI. Now today, I bring forward another application that will help you automate tasks with the help of LMs as well as different frameworks. And this is a little bit different from Skyburn. Introducing Lavog. In French, that's what it's called, but in simple terms, how many are just calling it vague? Because it's a little bit easier. Now, the reason why I wanted to take a look at this project is because it can be utilized in different ways that Skyvern couldn't. Just take a look at this demo video, which will showcase how you can browse Hugging Face datasets by helping in defining a series of natural language instructions and rendering screenshots directly into your Google Notebook. Now, in this particular example, we see Vague is using RAG with local embeddings, plus using Mistral as the large language model to generate Selenium code through a prompt. In this case, you can see that it's executing and filling out certain prompts on Hugging Face, and it will be able to automate a lot of your interactions on the website, such as browsing data sets. And in this case, we can see that it's able to select particular data sets and it's able to post certain things such as the username. And on the right hand side, you have a panel which will allow you to select multiple different options as you're interacting on the Hugging Face site. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, in my opinion, this is a really useful tool that will be quite promising for automating web-based tasks. It's something that utilizes RAG with local embeddings and utilizing different large language models to generate code through prompts. It's going to allow you to execute actions like filling out prompts as well as doing so much more. And this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI. Definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Vague, which is a new automation tool that's designed to streamline repetitive and mundane tasks for anyone. It operates by translating natural language queries into Selenium code. This is where it's gonna simplify the process of automating different web workflows. Now, one thing I wanna take a look at is that this is something that is actually accessible through Google Colab or any sort of notebook. In this case, you can use Vague on Google Colab and you can start by selecting inference engines, either that's a local or full control or something that's even accessible on Hugging Face's interface, which is their API, which is possibly the quickest step or the process to set up Vague. Now, the latter is recommended by for efficiency in the notebook. And this is where it's something that you do after selecting the engine. It proceeds with the setup, you install the necessary dependencies as well as the libraries that are provided in the notebook. So what you would wanna do if you wanna access this is click on file, save a copy in your own drive, go to runtime, change the runtime to the best hardware that is available. Once you have selected that, you can then proceed forward by choosing between these two engines, whether that's local or the API with Hugging Face Interface API. And once you have done that, you can then click setup, install the requirements that are needed to have Vague functional. Then you can go to the code execution. And we can see that once you have the necessary dependencies and libraries that are provided and installed in Google Colab, you can then install all the other recommendations, which is the code execution. And this will showcase the code execution that is in process. Now, what you would need to do is execute the provided code example. And we can see over here that if you want to use the Hugging Face interface API, you would set this up by providing the HF token. Now, this is just a streamlined process that will enable you to easily harness Vague's capabilities. And this is for automating different tasks through the Google Colab notebook, which is something that I didn't see with Skyvern and I thought would be super helpful for a lot of people by accessing it 
off of a cloud setup, but which is through Google Colab. So what you would want to do next after you have set your key, you can just click run. And at the end, you're going to be able to execute different tasks. In this case, you can now try this demo with either Hugging Face or the IRS website. You can paste in the base URL as well as provide the instructions. This is where you're going to be playing around with it. And you can even run it on your local host or the public URL where you can start chatting with that interface to execute as well as have this application automate your tasks, such as clicking on the data set items on the menu between models and spaces, click on the search bar, filter by name, type the stack, as well as pressing enter. You can specify as many prompts as you want, and you're going to be able to get detailed execution of your tasks. And it's something that would be really useful for possibly sending out emails, maybe, or even just executing menial tasks that might be difficult to do at scale. Now, the great thing with this tool is that it has many amazing features which will help you process different web automation tasks. It's able to utilize natural language processing, and this is to understand instructions in everyday language, which will enable you to interact with browsers effortlessly. You have the integration with uh, Selenium, which is to ensure that there is a seamless automation for web browser. In the other ones, I believe one of their roadmaps is to incorporate Playwright, which is really cool to see. But in this case, right now, they have a Selenium integration. It's completely open source, which is amazing to see. It's built on the open source projects such as Transformers as well as Llama Index, and it leverages the open source models either locally or even remote. Now, this is something that will offer more transparency as well as alignment to whatever interest that you might have of using this completely for free. It's supposed to uh, allows you to support local models like Gamma 7B, which is granting users privacy, and it will also be allowing you to control over your own AI assistant within Vague. You're able to employ advanced AI techniques, and this is one of the cool things about this tool. And it's something such as implementing local embeddings as well as few shot learning. You're going to be able to use Vague to extract relevant HTML pieces, and it can even generate precise Selenium code without the need for any sort of extensive fine tuning. This will make sure that it's going to be efficient with the task execution. And this is why I really thought that this tool would be really useful for a lot of us. Now, let's take a look at the future roadmap for this project, because I truly believe that it will elevate this overall tool a little bit better. In this case, their roadmap is to aim to democratize transparent and aligned AI models. And this is for users to have these models run on the internet without any sort of privacy concern. Now, key areas of focus, including fine tuning local models like Gamma 7B or even text to action. And this is for enhancing the retrieval of the whole interactions on different websites. And it's going to ensure that the relevant code pieces are being utilized. They're also focusing on supporting additional browser engines such as Playwright. And this is something that they're going to be working on as they continuously upgrade their overall tool. And this is something that I'll also be posting a lot on on my Twitter, just in case if they have any sort of update. And that's about it for today's video. Big is definitely an amazing tool and I definitely see it helping many of us streamline different web-based tasks through natural language instructions, or that's giving it prompts to explore different web pages, collecting data, and having it so that it can integrate with Selenium for browser automation is going to help this overall tool in many different use cases. And it's something that's fully open source and it will support many different local models. So this is something that will ensure for privacy and control. And it's something that you can get started with today by using Google Colab. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great, great way for you to access any subscriptions completely for free. You can access different AI tools multiple of them in a month and you can get it completely for free make sure you check out the twitter page if you haven't already this is an amazing way for you to stay up to date with any ai news that is being posted i'm trying my best to always update you guys on the latest ai content so definitely stay tuned on the twitter page and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.